okay guys in this video we'll be talking about what is c value paradox it's a very small video about what is it actually uh, there are two different terminologies one is a c value paradox another one is c value enigma now what does that mean usually c value paradox refer to the complexity of the dna and uh, looking at the structure of that organism that means it's usually found the idea was from the 1948 and people thought about that uh, there are different types of organisms out there eukaryotic organisms which are much more complicated and the prokaryotes simplified organisms so it might happen they, might, they they thought at that time that means once people start discovering the genetic content of the cell they thought that in eukaryotic system the more the eukaryote is getting complicated it might reflect it itself in the genome so they might thought that uh, if uh, there is a complicated organism so it's a very much complicated organism present the gene of that organism should be complicated or the genetic content of the organism should be much more right so people have this idea that uh, the complexity proportional with the genome size of that organism but but after certain understanding and study this complete idea found to be completely vague and false because people thought that previously depending upon the observation but now they know that the normally though there are complex organisms present they might not have uh, the great huge genome for example uh, there are smaller organisms like salamander which are much less complex than us human but they contain a huge amount of genome more amount of genome that we have so that is a kind of paradoxal that uh, the genome content or the genome size will not determine the complexity of an organism or you cannot tell the complexity of organism by looking at the genome size or you cannot uh, tell uh, the genome size or, or predict the genome size by looking at the complexity of that organism so that is vice versa and that is called as a c value paradox and uh, the future term is c value uh, enigma that was developed later that uh, previously people thought about that but after that they slightly updated the theory and they they asked the questions that uh, in that case of c value enigma they thought uh, this not about the whole genome content they talk about the haploid genome content of the individual but the question still remains and the result is the same even if we take the haploid genome content of that organism but still it is not enough to predict the complexity of that organism because there are organisms out there which are much less complex than us but contains a huge number of haploid genomic content in themselves and similar things there are organisms out there which are uh, much much more complex than for example for a plant and compared to a frog if you look at there they are kind of different but if you look at here with a frog and human being it will be different with a salamander and human being we might think that human which we are much more complex we should have more haploid content of the genome more genes but the answer is no salamanders have even more content of gene than us but still they are not that much complete they are not that much uh, you i mean uh, evolved in that sense so that is not relatable so that is called as a c value paradox because the question always remains and we haven't solved that yet so that's it c value paradox and i hope that's helpful if you like the video like uh, like this video and and also make sure to subscribe uh, put some comment there i hope that's helpful thank you